Well, what do you think that property is worth? Oh, by the way, um, I'm calling you right now because we're actually buying properties in the neighborhood. So You are buying my property because it's $5 million. You probably don't own half $5 million. So don't call me again. Okay. Can you tell me what went wrong with that call? All right, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to do this here, just like we were doing before. Um, I'm going to start off on some recordings, mm -hmm. and we're going to talk a little bit about um, what you, how you could have handled some stuff. So I'm glad we got some leads, but there's mm -hmm. a couple of things that I want to go over with those leads as well. So, um, and then we'll kind of just, as we keep going and we find little things to tweak here mm -hmm. and there, we're going to keep editing that. That's just all. So that's just how this process goes. Right. So we, uh, we, yeah, we, move, we improve and move forward. So. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So okay. Yeah. Right, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna play this here. Hello. Hi there. I would like to speak with David. David is not here. Who is this? Oh yeah. By the way, my name is Angel, and I'm actually calling in regards uh, to the property at Woodstream Drive. What's in drive? Okay. What do you need? Uh, this is his dad. That's my partner in the property. Mm. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to reach out to you because we're looking to buy, um, yeah, your properties in the area. So, yeah, we wanted to see if you would consider selling it. I'll be honest with you. I am considering selling it right now. The property mm -hmm. is, the house itself is 15,800 square feet. And the guest house is three thousand. I have oh, almost. Sorry. So, uh, for for this address in Woodstream Drive, um, is this your a uh, main house or uh, the guest the guest house? No, no. What? Okay. You heard that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, can you tell me what where things went wrong a little bit? Yeah, I think it was uh too. I mean, a little bit off when I asked if it's their guest house or main house. Yep, you were doing really <laughs> good, and he went into starting explaining the house, and yeah. you you interrupted him, and it's like yeah. no 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 no, just take notes, and that's it. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Just, I see. You see what I'm saying? So like, yeah. there, there's a time and place when to verify what that information is. That mm -hmm. was not the time. Okay. I know, I know, yeah. So, all right. So we'll can we'll continue here. Um, What's your name, ma'am? What's your name? My name, name is Angel. Is My name Angel. is Angel. My name is Sohel. I am also the owner of the house. So do you see how he's getting a little frustrated because of that. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know. So, yeah. So you have to read, you have to also know how to read people a little bit and understand the tone. Okay. Okay. So, you know, I, I, it, the beginning was very, very good all up until you interrupted him. Okay. So I liked how everything went up up until you interrupted him. And then he got um, a little upset, but I, I think it, it, it turns around. So mm. let me continue playing. David okay. is my son, you know? Mm. So what we do is we have two people on the title, uh, me and him. And the house mm. itself, 27910, Wood Stream Drive, South Lyon, Michigan, right? 
Hello? Okay. Yeah. Yes, uh huh. Okay. So that's the one that I have. The house itself is 15,000. It's got a swimming pool, sauna, uh, walkout basement, uh, a lot of rooms, a lot of bathrooms, jacuzzi. So throughout here, he kind of brought it back to himself and he, he kind of calmed himself down a little bit. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, it's just remember when acknowledging when they say something. Okay. So if they don't hear okay. you, just a, just a small mm -hmm, doesn't mean nothing. Okay. Just say, oh, okay. Yeah, I see. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Those are active listening techniques. Just understanding, give, letting them know that you're actually listening to what they're saying. Mm -hmm. Does that make okay. sense? All right. Yeah, sure. So, and sometimes with, you're a little bit quiet on those. So that's why he, he can't hear you. So you have to make sure you, you know, not loud, loud, but like, mm -hmm. can you hear this? Mm -hmm. Did you hear that? Yeah. Yeah. I see mm -hmm. that. Uh-huh. Okay. Versus, ah, okay. Uh-huh. Now you, you see the difference between those two? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. I can. Got it. All right. Side jacuzzi outside. You know, um, in the guest house, the guy who I bought it from in 2009, so I've owned that house for about 15 years so far, you know? Okay, I see. Yeah. So I just want to make sure that for this address, 27910, this is your house, and this is also for sale, right, this property? Okay. Do you see a problem with that? Yeah, I yeah I wasn't able to acknowledge the last phrases that he was saying, and um, I just jumped in like asking another question. Well, it's not even the que it, it's not even asking another question. It's like clarifying. You're, re you're repeating yourself. He already verified the address. Okay, mm -hmm. he already verified the address and that he's thinking about selling. Okay, because if he wasn't thinking about selling, he wouldn't go in so much detail. You understand? Okay, yes, yes. So, so with that being said, he basically thinks at this point that you didn't hear anything he said prior. Because you're, you're asking the question that he already stated. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes. Okay. Is it for sale? Ma'am, it is not for sale, but I I want to sell it. Now that you call me, yes. I, it's for okay. Sale. All right, I see. Yeah, I would like to ask you specific questions about a property. So, as you can see, he's getting upset and frustrated. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And one thing that I don't want you to, sometimes by doing this, it comes off as like a robot. And I don't want you, I want you coming off as a human, not a robot. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. So by doing active listening and understanding, oh, okay, great. Can, you know, and then sometimes even repeating what he said, like if he was, if he does a pause, okay, then you can go a little bit further in your script asking about other things other than what he said. but. Everything he said, you should have been taking notes about. I don't know if you did or not, but you should have been taking notes while he was talking. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah. So, uh, Property. We'll continue. This will be very quick. All right. Uh, recording with the condition. Um, can you tell me about the condition of the property? Did you make any remodeling? I made remodeling. <clears throat> to all the rooms, I put a carpet. All the bathrooms, I put, uh, you know, like cabinet, new toilet, all that. You know, so the house okay. is in great. So, um, yeah, can you be uh, be more specific with the kitchen and the bathroom? When was the last time that you made uh, remodeling with the kitchen and the bathroom? Well, that was almost about, I would say, mm -hmm. uh, maybe. 12 years ago when I first took it over. 
And mm-hmm. now we did only the flooring. I, I put a wood floor in the main uh, living room, the big one. It used to be carpet, so we changed it to uh, wooden floors. Okay. All yeah. right. And 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 I have um, a uh, you know like a refrigerator and um, stove in a let me see are in good condition. I'm gonna skip through a couple things here. Right. Okay. Are you uh, a real yeah, right. man? Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm actually you, working uh, uh, with a realtor. All right. And um, yeah, uh, we are I'm from sorry, Mission Ms. Investing. Are you a realtor or are you a buyer? Which one is that? Okay. So when he says, are you a realtor? Okay. Um, the answer to that is, I no, we are not realtors. We are an investor who's buying in the area. Okay. So you said it right after that, but he's specifically asking, are you a realtor? There's a difference between a realtor and an investor. Okay. Do you know that? Oh, what's that? Um, Randy, I'm sorry, you're, I'm sorry, you're actually cutting out. So if they ask us, can you hear me okay now? Am I cutting in and out? Yeah. No, it's it's probably on my end. Let me switch real quick. Oh. Hold on. Okay. Okay, can you hear me? Yeah, it's better now. Okay, all right. I'm gonna have to use this. So my, sometimes my headphone, my my AirPods, they mess up like that. So mm-hmm. okay. Um. So with I, what where, what was I talking about here? Uh. Oh yeah, investor and realtor. Do you know the difference between an investor and a realtor? Yeah, when they asked about uh. I uh, okay. Now you're cutting in and out. Yeah, definitely. For as a buyer agent, it's like you asking like for a buyer since it. Okay, let me check. My internet is good. Okay. Can you try saying something? Okay, so, all right, yeah, how about that? Is it okay? Yep, yep, I can hear you better now. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, so, um, so if, um, the, if uh, the, the seller would ask, um, the best answer is, like, we are an investor, right? Yes, we are an investor buying in the area. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, and... But do you know the difference between a realtor and an investor? Yes. Um. Uh, like the 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 investor, it's like a responsible. It's like um similar to buyer since it's responsible for uh, making sure that um the buyer uh, gets the the best deal possible and the seller as well. Yes. Yeah, so a mm-hmm. when when someone says they're a realtor it's mainly they're not looking to buy okay they're looking to take that and put it up on the market okay so put it on the mls Mm -hmm. and that's not what we're trying to do we're trying to buy it okay so um 
So essentially to the seller, yes, we are buyers. We are not realtors. Okay. So if they ever do ask that mm. question. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, we are a va- right. buyer. So we, we are, are a investor. small local investor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we are an investor. All right. Do you hear this when I play it? All right. Yes. And we actually yeah. sell, uh, I mean, uh, right. yeah, buy properties. And um, yeah, uh, you've mentioned that you've made remodeling with a bathroom. Uh, uh, that was also 12 years ago, right? Including the roof. And how about the HVAC? HVAC is in great condition. Okay. All right. I see. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, I just want to make sure as well that aside me calling you right now, may I know the reason why you have considered selling? Well, I'll be honest with you. I bought it so my wife and I and the kids would go live there, you know. So, but now she said it's far away from her parents and stuff like that. And, you know, so we just came closer here, you know, and we want to sell that house. Okay, I see. All right. Thank you so much for that. And um yeah, so for this and um uh how about uh how soon uh will you be willing to sell? How soon? Yes, uh-huh. As soon as there's, you know, at least like three months or, or give me three, four months. In three months. You know? mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I can, uh... All right, let me take note. All right. And uh, do you have any asking price? In mind? No, I don't have no, no asking price. It's just the house Any is ballpark? Very big. Any ballpark that um. Mm-hmm. You know, my dear, let me explain to you. In the city, it might show like the house is five thousand eight hundred something like this, but the house itself is about fifteen thousand. It's a big house. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah I totally understand. But yeah, any any ballpark. So you know. I could take note of that as well. I hope that you have any ballpark in mind. Okay, for the whole, almost more than two and a half acres, and there's a wood stream in the back. There's a stream, the water, you know, we do fishing and stuff in the back of the house, part of my house. And I have a big lot and 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 a, and, and, and a guest house. The guy used to fix his trucks in that guest house, and there was an apartment upstairs in the guest house, you know. So all that, uh, you know, the house, I'm just selling for 1.9. I'm sorry, how much is that? 1,900,000. 1,900,000, all right, let me take note. Okay, so one thing I wanna say about this, it, it, it's, I'm, I'm very happy you were pushing for the asking price, okay? So you did a very good job on that. All right. Um, that I, I I really do appreciate because sometimes it's just really hard Hello? to get out there. Yeah, can you hear I'm me? I'm sorry, Randy. Can you yeah, hear can me? Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Um. So you can. Yeah. It's okay now. Sorry. Okay. Did you hear the the call at all? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I heard that, but um, I ended in the part that um, uh, the the cost. I mean, yeah, the the seller mentioned about. I mean, I, I mean, when I was asking if there is um an asking price or any ballpark, since he he's not sure yet. Okay, so one thing that mm-hmm. I wanted to say is that you did you did very good on is by pushing for the ballpark price, pushing for the asking price. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Because it's hard to get that number out of them. Mm-hmm. So I'm very glad that you did. The problem that I have is everything that he said. Okay. Mm-hmm. You you did not put any of that in the notes. Oh. Okay. You didn't put that it was a 15,000 square feet house with a thing in the, with a... Uh, uh, a guest house, blah, blah, blah. Like all of that information that he said, you didn't put any mm-hmm. of that in the notes. I wouldn't have known any of that unless I listened to the call. Mm, I Okay. Uh, all right. Does that make sense? Yeah, I'll make sure to take note. Okay. 
So, yeah. so you did a good job in trying to get that out of him. But as he's talking, okay, listen to what he's saying and take notes. All right. Mm-hmm. So I wanted to ask you, how are you taking, are you taking notes in the notes section? Uh, first, I take note in my like personal note before okay. I transfer to to the note section, so I could you know add it and um yeah make corrections before posting it to the CRM. Okay. So yeah, I yeah I take note first on my personal note, and um yeah that's it. I guess um I was just not able to uh get since he was like um. For me, for me, like he was mm -hmm. like talking too fast, and I was more focused on getting the like to the asking price. Yep. But yeah. it's more important, mm -hmm. like it's more important that you're listening, active listening. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm trying to get a hold through you is you you when someone's on the call with you and they're saying yes, I want to sell listen to them you can tell when somebody is being sarcastic or if they're just trying to get a price out of you then and when they're mm -hmm. being serious okay this guy's serious about this guy's serious about selling okay um but he also mm -hmm. knows he has a big um he has a big uh a, a big house and very valuable house Okay, so mm -hmm. what he's trying to explain to you is that in uh, in Zillow, it doesn't show any of that. Okay, so he's trying to tell you everything. I followed up with mm -hmm. this guy, by the way. Okay, and um, he's headed out of town, and basically, I didn't, I I didn't come up with a price or anything like that. I just said. Hey, I need to come to the property, take a look at it because it's a very special property. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah. that's kind of that's kind of where I I'm dealing with like when you're when you're dealing with this, um, you have to understand that that you got to read in between the lines on all of this. You got to read people a little, a little bit. All right. Yes, you still want to get the information on the script, but you got to just actively listen to what they're saying and take notes. Okay. Mm -hmm. so yes, I will. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, so I'll speed through this a little bit. To build this house now, you need at least four. You're breaking up, my dear. I'm so sorry. Can you repeat? Uh, one of the reasons is that the house is too big, right? That is why you are just selling the property. It's too far. It's not just. Okay. So when you, when you asked about the reasoning, he already told you about the reasoning earlier. Do you remember that? <laughs> yeah. He, about he uh, already, this thing. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. He already told you that it's. You know, his wife is it's too far away mm -hmm. from uh, her, her parents. And yeah. so they move closer. So so it's stuff like that where if you already know that answer, you put in the notes. And now you don't need to ask that question mm -hmm. again. You can tell he's kind of frustrated a little bit by it. OK. Yeah. Too big. It's a little bit too far out of my, my wife. Take too much. Time. OK, I see. And yeah, since David is your. um. As your son, may I ask? So I'm going to skip through okay, a couple of these. thank you. Where are you located? Oh, that's a very good question. Uh, we are actually uh, in Metro, uh, Metro Derot of uh, Clarkston. Uh, we are a mission in... So it's, it's Detroit. Okay. Angela? Detroit, Detroit yeah. Detroit. All right. So that's how you pronounce it. It's Metro Detroit. Okay. Investing. Metro Detroit. Yep. Okay. What is the. So, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm 
Mm-hmm. All right. So everything in here is notated. I have, um, I guess I have all the information that I'll be needing as of this moment. So anytime today, my partner will contact you to provide you all the details as well, especially the offer. When's the best time to give you a call? Well, before six o'clock. Okay. So one thing that I'm going to edit here, okay, is mm-hmm. you can say that we will follow up within 24 hours okay and Mm. and my partner randy will follow up with you to see if your house qualifies or to see what your house let's say to see what your house qualifies for okay let's use that terminology to see what your house qualifies for okay because we don't buy every single property. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So yeah, correct me if I'm wrong, Randy. So um, yeah, yep. we'll say in the last part that um, yeah, we follow up in 24 hours, and my partner Randy, uh, will contact you to see what your house qualifies for. Is that right? Yep. Okay. All right. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> okay. So mm-hmm. that that under they understand that. You know, hey, we look at a lot of properties, you know, we may Mm -hmm. buy this, we may not, you know, um, also the fact, understanding that I'll follow Mm -hmm. up with them within 24 hours, okay? Uh, And me, them promising that I'll contact them within an hour may not be realistic at the moment, okay? So... Mm -hmm. Still asking when's the best time to reach you is fine. I I exact I want that. Okay. Mm-hmm. So um just understand that is I I I have it set where I'll follow up within the within twenty four hours. Yeah, but we will still like ask the exact time, like what yes. they prefer, right? Correct, uh-huh. of course. So that I know okay. Whether it's morning, Mm -hmm. midday, whether, you know, what time Mm -hmm. is best to reach them. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Just uh, like, um, uh, just like the, the most recent lead, uh, he mentioned that he prefers morning. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, and I'm glad that you mentioned the most recent lead. Okay. One thing Mm -hmm. that I, I need you to verify at the end if they're not verifying the address is verify that they're the owner of and put out that address okay okay now you don't have to do it in the beginning because we've already gone over that you keep doing what you're doing in the beginning but before you get off the phone at the end of the call just uh saying just want to make sure that you know we're talking about the same property um the numbers mm-hmm. and the address in whatever city it is okay okay all right i see so mm-hmm. because i did come across the one that you did on saturday that you talked to a greg and it was on uh, like a marlin tisdale do you remember that um, one Let me check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I called them and Mm -hmm. I I got a hold of Greg. He doesn't remember talking to you, which is typical. Mm -hmm. That's fine. But he doesn't Mm -hmm. own that address and his wife doesn't, is not Marlin. Okay. Mm -hmm. I listened to the call. So I know what he said. So another thing I want to want you to verify is the phone number, the best phone number to reach them. Okay. Okay. And and make sure you're putting that. I want you to say, is this this phone number ending with and do the last four digits of of that number? Okay. Okay. The best callback number. Mm -hmm. The best callback number. But I want you to say the last four digits of the number that you're putting down. Okay. Let's take note. Mm-hmm. Okay. So let's do okay. this. 
Let me see this one. Hi there, would like to speak with Robert. Who is this? Oh, by the way, my name is Angel, and I'm calling in regards uh, to your property at Broadway Street. Hold on. Property All right. on Broadway Street? Oh. Rob, can I help you? Hi there, my name is Angel, and um, I'm actually calling in regards to the property uh, 328 South Broadway Street. Mm -hmm. Well, what mm -hmm. do you think that property is worth? Oh, by the way, um, I'm calling you right now because we're actually buying properties in the neighborhood. So You are buying my property to... because it's $5 million. You probably don't own half $5 million, so don't call me again. Okay. Can you tell me what went wrong with that call? Um, he was asking the worth, right? He was asking like, the how worth. How much we could? Um... Yep. Mm -hmm. So it means he kind of was interested in selling. Okay. But mm -hmm. you went into, um, I mean, if somebody's asking for the worth, then they're they're obviously asking for something. So. I understand what he said at the end, and that's fine, but I what I would have gone into is – I'm just using this as a learning experience. But what I would have gone into is said, sure, no problem. In order for me to get that information for you, I just need to ask you a few questions. Uh, do you have a few minutes? Mm -hmm. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes, yes. So, and then you can go into about conditioning and things like that. But more than likely, he would have been like, well, no, I'm not interested in selling. You know? Mm. So, but you saying, well, we're trying to, you know, I, I, I understand his aspect. And I understand, mm -hmm. like, you went into what you've done in the past, which is just repeating, going back to the script and repeating yourself. Okay. Is this goes back to the active listening and then just follow up, just kind of follow their lead a little bit um, on what they're doing. You still take control of the call by um, listening to what they're saying and just going by that. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so okay. I should have like, haven't, I mean, yeah, I should have. Um, jumped in asking that first i should have like explained that we could um give the worth or give an offer once we know the, the specific information of the property correct mm -hmm. yep so what how i would have said that is if they're saying well well what do you think that property is worth okay mm -hmm. How I would have responded with, and I'll say this again, then I'll have you repeat it back to me, okay? Okay, so, sure. Yeah. How I would have said is, if they said, well, what do you think the property is worth? I would have said, well, that's a great question, sir. But in order for me to get that information, I just have to ask you, I have to ask you a few questions about the condition. Uh, do you got a couple minutes for that? And then let him respond. More than likely, this guy would have said, no, 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 I, I, I don't have any of that. You know, I, I don't even want to sell. Okay, great. You know, um, and he would go into that. But that's how you would respond to somebody like that. Okay. So let me, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll post it up. Well, what do you think that property's worth? Mm -hmm. All right, uh, for us, Randy, to know the worth of the property, I need to know the um, some of the, con uh, the condition of the property so uh, we could provide it to you as well. So do you have a minute for that? Great. Okay, mm -hmm. that's awesome. All right. Mm -hmm. So just continue playing that. The more you say things like this and the more mm -hmm. you do them, the, the more fluent it comes. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, let's, I got another one here. Hello? 
Hi there. Um, I would like to speak with Stefan. Speaking. Hi there, Stefan. My name is Angel, and I'm actually calling in regards to your property at Mona Avenue. Speak. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm reaching out to you since we're looking to buy property in the neighborhood. Oh, thank you. Have a yeah. good day. Okay. Uh, do you have a... Okay. That guy was an asshole. Okay. <laughs> but you're going to come across a lot of that. That's not a problem. Mm -hmm. You handled it very well. Um, the only thing is, is I, I think you, you left good amount of time for him to say, I think you, you handled that very, that call very well. The fact that he said, speak, he's not interested in selling. That's perfectly fine. He didn't let you get by mm. it. I put this in here, I believe to, to say you actually handled this call very well. You did a good job. Okay. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, and then I think this is the call that from that Greg on, on Saturday. Mm. Hi, this is Greg. I can speak with Marilyn. Hello. Yes, hi, may I speak with Marilyn, please? Um, nope, you probably have the wrong number. Oh, I'm so sorry if I have here uh, the wrong name, but I just wanted to uh, reach the property owner of Rural, Rural Avenue. Um, why? All right, um, I, I'm reaching out to you because we're actually buying properties in the neighborhood. So we thought that you might be interested in selling the property as well. Yeah. All right. Um, can I ask you specific questions about a property so we'll know how much we could offer you? This will be very yeah, quick. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. So can you tell me what you did wrong there? Um, like regarding for that, I was just like, um, I guess I was too fast in um, asking mm -hmm. the question. So yeah, that's what I can see. He mentioned so, that he uh he's yeah. So I I understand that, but one thing mm -hmm. that I I I wanted you to. He's not Marilyn. He didn't at this mm -hmm. point. He did not say he even owned the property. He's just saying, well, what is it? Say mm -hmm. I would I would have stopped right here and said. Yeah, sure. No, no problem. But before I go any further, I just wanted to say, uh, do you, do you own this property? Or do I have the wrong information? Um, I, I, I just want to make sure my information here is correct. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. it, and you can, by all means, sometimes act confused and say, ah, do I have mm -hmm. the wrong information? You know, um, you know, just, just to kind of play it like that. Okay. Mm. And regarding for that, um, can I also, because I'm confused if, you know, if I yeah. can ask uh, if, uh, if like, um, like, are you related with Marilyn? Questions like that. Yeah, you can. Okay. By all means, you I say that. Yeah. Say, I, oh, are you related to Marilyn? Uh, are you on, t like, like, do you own this? Ad Does Marilyn own this, uh, this property? Do, do I have the wrong information? Because if he starts talking about a house. And this condition, I, we need to make sure is, this is the right house that he's talking about. I have no problem if he has a different house he wants to sell and he's talking about that. But we need to make sure we're on the same page before we go any further. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, okay. So mm -hmm. I think at, at, at some point he says this was his wife. All right. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, can you please uh, describe the property, uh, I mean, the condition of the property as of this moment? Um, well, what's the address? Um, the address that we have in here, that, uh, to be exact, that would be 322 19 Rural Avenue. Is that right? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
so yeah, can you please describe the condition? Okay, so you asked the address, like he, he asked for the address, and mm -hmm. that's great. Then I would have gone into, okay, well, do you own this property? Or do you, like, uh, because we're not matching up with the names here, okay? Mm -hmm. So um, does that make sense? Yeah, for that, um, I guess I was just confused in that part. I'm sorry. Yep. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Yeah. This is why we're training. This is why we're learning. Okay. Yeah. So this is the whole reason why I want to do these trainings and go over every, I don't expect anyone to know the, all of this right off the bat. Okay. Does that mm -hmm. make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I, I don't expect anybody to know everything here. I did not know this when I was doing mm -hmm. in, in this. So I don't expect you to. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah. um, the biggest thing I think we're taking away from all of these calls, and I'll think I, I think I'll, I'll wrap it up here. But the biggest thing I, I want to take away is that uh, I need uh, – um, I need you to do more active listening, okay? Listening mm -hmm. to them, take down the notes that they're saying. I know you want to get to the next thing on on the the um on the lit on the uh on the script, but you gotta mm -hmm. listen to what they're saying first, okay? Yes. And just kind of go from there, okay? You can move around the script. Okay. The script the script is a suggestion. Yes, we want to follow the script as much as possible, but it's only really it's you should have that down to a point where I can skip around the script wherever is needed based on the seller's answers. Does that make mm -hmm. sense? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, maybe I was just like uh, like too busy to to proceed mm -hmm. with the next question. <laughs> yeah, that's yep. why uh, sometimes I like um, you know I I don't um, take note of what he's saying. Right, and and that's mm -hmm. perfectly like it's understandable because I've been there and I've done that. Um, mm -hmm. un unfortunately, it just doesn't it it does it's not helpful to me unless I listen to the call. Yeah, yeah. And I don't listen to all the calls. I'm trying to, but sometimes I don't, you know, mm -hmm. so I need as much information on the notes as possible. Um, one thing that I'm seeing, like when you put, when you go into call tools, anything you put in that notes sec section, okay, is going to be, when you hit Podio, is going to go into the Podio, the notes section itself. Okay. Yeah. So before you yes. hit before you hit submit on that podio, just make sure every all the notes are are listed in there, because there was one time where none of the notes were listed in there, and then all the rest of the time it's like double, it's listed double the times. So it's like you mm -hmm. copied it twice. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I understand. So you have noted that. Uh, well, I was able to like paste it first, so we don't put nothing is in there. So I post it and um paste it. So the next time mm -hmm. that I open it, it's already in there. So it's easier. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So mm -hmm. there's a couple things. I'm gonna reiterate a little bit of a few things. One thing we want to make sure that who we're talking to is for the right address. Mm -hmm. And then who we're talking to, the best callback number is the number that we have and list out the last four digits. Mm -hmm. Don't say the call that I just called you on because you might pick the wrong number. Okay. So yeah. I want you mm -hmm. to list out the last four digits of their number so that they hear it and they're acknowledging it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. So, um, 
and yeah, I think I think that's pretty pretty good. Uh, remember, just keep the active listening, keep things going, um, mm-hmm. and kind of we'll, we'll take it from there. All right. Okay, Randy. Yeah, thank you so much for you know these insights, and um, mm-hmm. I want you to know that I appreciate those. And yeah, thanks for understanding that I have loves as well as taking calls. Yeah, no problem. I we are. You know, if you have any questions, by any means, please do reach out and let me know. I'll answer them as much as I can. Okay. Thanks, everybody. I Hopefully, you like that uh, training session. Uh, if you've lasted this long to the end of the training session, I uh, leave a comment. What was your favorite part? And if you want to see more of this, uh, I do still have a few more. We're trying to do them possibly once every week, once every other week, as I need them. As, when I listen to the calls, uh, maybe we need to tweak things a little bit here and there. Uh, so that's all about what cold calling is, is you're only as good as you train people. So anybody who says set it and forget it, they don't know what they're talking about. Okay. So with that being said, leave a comment. Uh, down below, let me know if you like this uh, this type of these types of videos, and let me know what your favorite part of this video is. Uh, with that being said, let's all do deals together, and let's just keep the deal flow going. Once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room Damn, what a hell of a view